Lagos is a crazy place. He been feeding me pasta and lobster. He just hit me up on Tuesday like we're storm bad. Let me take you shopping. I told him, well, I'm a little busy. He said, damn, I'm in your city. But anyway, it's okay. Hope you have a good day. I'ma see you by day 50. Then I told him, you treat me so well. He said, can't shop for sale. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'ma see what's that just because you fine as hell. You go, girls. I support women's rights and wrongs. From the thing them call the broken heart, this blessed love will never part. You don't know it from the start. Me tell them say I don't say it. A Sean Paul and Sasha. Can't like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo cut dope like Pablo. Cut. You guys, I just got here. Hi there, I'm Dennis and I'll be the narrator for Jessen's vlog. Don't get confused when you hear me pop up. Alright, bye for now. I want to, to go to sleep. I'm tired. Well, I'll check on you guys. I just want to tell you guys that I've arrived. No monkey in the jungle, blah, high like a sauna. Bouncing up and I'm trying to weep and the gun. Jumping in the water, trying to sleep across the water. Can I see you as I got me beat by Verona? I'll bag it. Bag of money, knew I gotta have it. Savage. But I'm still a gentleman in the Cali. Atlantic. Nigga, turn them in about the cabbage. Uh, and this whole family, you come up with the food. I just put it back on the way to Bogota. Fact. Fuck his eyes out, and I'm telling what he saw. Fuck him, I'm gonna watch y'all. I don't know if he'll talk. Watch y'all. Chain saw, and I'm gonna saw our legs off. They know that we're a game, but they said that we're a ring. That's a game. Good morning. You see how she sleeps in all morning instead of starting a fun activity. Not very cutesy at all. Guys, the funniest part about vlogging, especially when you're alone, is the fact that people will be looking at you and wondering why your phone is on. Are you sure that's why they're looking? Because I'm so tired. I wish I could drive, so that I would drive off this place. This jacket was so useful. Hey, hey, what's your name? You cannot stand for like two seconds. Maybe I'm just so pretty. <laughs> You guys, I'm weird, don't mind me. You cannot stand for two seconds without at least two men walking up to you to like get your number or say hi or da da da. Or maybe it's the place I am, maybe it's the place I find myself. Because I just stopped the, the video because of what just happened. I mean, I'm just tired and I don't want anybody to talk to me, I don't want anybody to ask for my number. I don't know if I'm a child, but people like me, they don't leave them inside their cars. Do you understand that kind of thing? Do you don't leave toddlers in, in the car? Sorry. Do you don't leave toddlers alone in the car? That's the same way you don't leave me in the car. So I'm trying to figure out how to drive this car. I don't know what to do, first of all. I think you don't you use a button like here. Okay. It works. I've turned on the car guys. I've turned it off because I don't want to have any case with the police. The irony. I don't want to have any case with the police when I crash someone's car. But, and also, do you know Lagos is so crazy? Like, Lagos is just too crazy. You can just be standing outside waiting for someone or you can just be sitting somewhere and more than five people walk up to you. Girl five. Okay, like two or three. Walk up to you and then you tell them, oh, I'm with someone or something. They'll be like... 
okay but can i have you know nobody gives a fuck nobody gives a fuck like it's just so crazy i was standing by this car just outside here and then one man walked up to me i was like how are you pretty girl and i was like i'm fine da, 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 da. and he was like can i have your number i was like no I was, do you mind having giving me your number i said i might and then he was just laughing because i don't guys i don't know how to reject somebody and frown i'll be like i'm so weird and then he was like why do you have a boyfriend i was like no and he was like oh you do have a boyfriend where's your boyfriend did your boyfriend abandon you i was like what is this guy saying but just so that all the things he said at the end of the day obviously i didn't give him my number but then like the fact that i was just staying there another person still walked up to me and i'm sure that person had seen this other person walk up to me which is crazy just you guys just know that i think i get it i think i understand oh my god you guys used to see all these tiktoks the girls will say go to this place and go and sit down if you're a single this girl this is where you can meet rich men i get it now i understand what you guys mean all this kind of setting a lot of men who want to approach a girl and that are single ladies like all those kind of things you go girls i support women's rights and wrongs <laughs> I right to home just to try and see which areas have softened up. It basically, um. <laughs> Guys, I'm so weird. Oh my god. I did this whole hair. Ew. I make up look only to not go anywhere. Yeah, because it's already four o'clock and I don't know. It depends. I might still go out later in the evening, but like as for now, I have to lie down. I watch a movie on Netflix because I'm tired. But like my makeup ate though. And I learned how to do the curl stuff. I'll redo it if I'm going out, but I'm not going out. And if I sleep off, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I was trying to text my friend to give me a location so that we can go somewhere, but long story. I want to sleep and I want to watch movies. I don't know what you want to do. <sighs> Good morning. I went for a walk, that's why. I'm very active. Good morning, guys. Today is meant to be a good day, so I'm vlogging definitely. Everything I'm doing today is what I wanted to do yesterday, or ended up being lazy and sleeping off. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, which is do my hair, do my makeup, and get ready and go. Right now, I just ordered breakfast. I didn't actually order it, the room comes with free breakfast. <sighs> The room comes with free breakfast, so I'm having fried potatoes and egg sauce. That's what they say they're giving me. So yeah, that's that. I'm thinking of doing um, the video for Orimo. Let's say Orimo for Marie Code today, but I don't know where to drop my phone. I don't know if I should sit down here and then keep the phone by the window and then do it. But I'll test all that out. Anyways, how are you guys? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great. Yeah, I'm going to carry along my day as usual. A new bombshell has entered the villa. Thank you. Why is the quantity so small?
It looks scary. Like a mean girl. I just do this one, but like, why is this cold? That's scary. Oh, you thought I was taking a picture? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Well, like, what, what can I have? Like, do you have ice cream? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Nah. Okay. okay. I'm two scoops. Two scoops, what's out? What's out? sent me to tell y'all she's an artist. This is my sketch because I am an artist. And I love to use the sketch, my ice cream has melted. I don't really like the ice cream. Talking to Oh Okay, yes, it's my job to tell you guys what's going on. Apparently Jessam was out all day, and the hotel or rather room service didn't come in to clean up, and she met the mess she made when she got back. So she was angry.
shower, but I, I don't think I need to. I just went out to go and paint. My body is clean. I just want to wash my face. Or maybe I might just freshen up and come to bed and edit my vlog because I don't want to watch TV. And she didn't. She slept like a beast and even took out her hair in the process. The next morning. This food better tastes good. I ordered Chinese rice and diced chicken because I don't have strength to be tearing chicken bone and dating myself. I don't understand why this food, just this and this is 21,000. The food is worth the 20 kilo. Jesus. I thought it was just gonna be basic rice and chicken. You guys, it's so nice. Like, it's so, so nice. Like, the Chinese is Chinese in like, it's so good. Mm. They fried their eggs, like, properly, like, veggies and sausages and, wow. I'm impressed. You guys, my face is so dry. The AC is just too much. I'm currently going to chill by the pool side. You know, you guys know I do everything for aesthetics. Don't mind me. I just want to feel so cute and just chill by the pool side, you know, and read a book. Because I'm not swimming for shit. Hey, it's Walker. Thank you for wanting the verse for me. Apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to make the distractions up off you. Boy, enough time to jot your thoughts But fuck it, this morning I got to I'm thinking about you I heard you just had you another little baby Congratulations I hope you got through it with no complications I find it amazing The way that you feel with your kids It is the thing that bitches is hating They sit around waiting For you to fall off like an album I'm making But I hope that you're taking A little time for yourself Still in a moment or two to unwind Between the hips and tails And your friends are taking crying Because your mind We see a lot going on I'm hearing all of your songs Niggas been doing your wrong Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. You get choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much. Make it happy as kids, man. I don't know what it is. That made me so sensitive. More than I already was. Never mind that, I'm back. I'm sending you this little audio hug. And hope that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above. The more that we hurt, the harder we love. As soon as it's gone, we gotta re up. It's just like a drug. If people knew half of the pressure, they know that it's hard to be her. I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love. Y'all holding us down. Y'all holding the crowns. You ever need something from me? So answer to please. Just hit me and I'll be around. I'm gone. I'm about to have a good rest. You guys, I might not wake up till like tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's Dennis. I'm here to tell your good morning. Since Jessam wasn't polite enough to say so. This is how to arrange my pass on a plate. I don't know why my coffee is looking like this ant inside. I promise, it's no more coffee and it tastes so good. I don't just understand why they gave me two slices of bread. Am I watching my weight? You should. Cafe. 
I feel like pushing. I don't own somewhere outside. I put some drinks on you because you got a call. There. Thank you. I know I gotta keep my shorties on go, go. Thank you, guys. Say bye bye. I don't even know if you guys should sit inside because the sun is going down at this setting. And I want to take pictures by myself because I'm weird like that. Again, it's so difficult. Like, how the fuck? I didn't know my period was coming. I need to. I need to leave this place. Because if I just stand up like this, I'm totally scared. <laughs> good morning guys i decided to sit down and just talk to you or lie down and just talk to you guys today because i haven't spoken to the camera like the way i sit down and talk to you guys sometimes right so i just decided to like debrief my week my week in lagos like just a little debrief of how i'm feeling how lagos has treated me so far and that, that, that before before i end my last day in lagos first of all i think i need to put on this ac yeah first things first on arrival you guys okay maybe it's because of like the environment i'm in i realized that lagos has two sides it's either you're very rich or you're very poor that's just it and if you're like on the wealthy side you're gonna like have some benefits that's going to make you think oh my god i love lagos i want to live here but like when you think of the other side you're like this hustle can i can i actually do this Anyways, you guys, I was actually thinking about because I watched one girl's video where she was advising girlies like about living in Lagos and living in Abuja, the, the difference. Because you guys know I've always said I wanted to live in Abuja. Abuja is for people that already have money. Lagos is for people that are looking to have money. Lagos is for hustlers. And I am thinking about it, you guys. I'm thinking about it of like moving here because the lifestyle here is, is favorable for people like me, for influencers, YouTubers, like content creators like me. It is very favorable. I've noticed it, the locations, the people know that you're a content creator. Like where I went to yesterday, he knew I was a content creator and immediately offered to help me with doing some things. Like, do you want to take a picture? Like, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Now, the bad part, you guys, everybody in this Lagos, I don't know. I don't want to say anything bad about anybody. But I think everybody is in competition with, them, with themselves. Because there are some things that you ask somebody, they're afraid to say it. Because they don't want to come off as they are broke. Or they don't have money. Or da-da-da-da-da. But as for me and my, myself and my family, we'll mind our business. Because it's not me anybody will look at in such condescending manner. You guys, oh my god, I just remembered something that happened. And it relates so much with this topic i never spoke to you guys about it because i don't know i did not want to say it there was this certain influencer like this right that reached out to me with texted and everything i thought she was cool you guys know her very well i thought she was cool and everything very chill babe mind you mind you you guys know that i have no issue like i'm the funniest freest person ever i don't have any problem but she might not know that right she texted me, asked for my snap, we we're cool and everything. Then, next thing, we added each other back on snap. She said that when I'm around, I should let her know. Da, 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 da. So I let her know when I was around. This girl, this girl removed me from snap and wrote LOL. LOL. Amy. Jiggy baby. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've never said it like that, so it sounds weird. But, like, it was so bloody weird. Like, 
who does that and all those things cannot happen where there's no so much like in your head you think you're such somebody we're all in this content space i would never treat anybody like that so i never expected someone to treat me like that but i guess i was unaware of what things are really like like or more in my bubble in my small bubble that i am in car but i think like i don't even like people even telling me oh my god you i'm your biggest fan da -da -da. Ask anybody that's ever walked up to me in Calabar, and they have been a lot. Ask any of them. They know, I will laugh with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be laughing at you as if me and you are friends. Where does the pride, where does the pride come about? Where you start feeling like you're such a big person because you have a couple of numbers on your followers. That's bullshit. That's BS. Let me not say, you guys might think I'm saying this because I'm pained. But like, that's just wrong. That's blatantly wrong because you have small, num tiny numbers. Like... Because you have a hundred thousand people following you doesn't mean you are God. Like, be fucking for it. Don't, don't act too proud. Like, you remove me and send me LOL. What is LOL? LOL. I don't even send people LOL, like, on a normal day. You're not sending me after, after reach. Oh, fuck. Anyways, what else did I want to say? You guys, I'm just annoyed. I'm, I'm annoyed by a lot of things. And then you guys, I did not create a lot of content like I planned to because I just wanted it to be like a holiday. I wanted just a holiday where I chill, where I relax, like a mini tiny vacation, even though I'm not out of the country and stuff. It's still a vacation, guys. Just like a mini something. So I didn't really carry, I didn't carry my tripod, I didn't carry my LED lights, I didn't carry my ring light, I didn't carry nothing. I should have texted my friend Jazz so that she would have come to shoot content with me, but I didn't think about it earlier. I would have texted her before even coming here. Anyway, so I don't have a lot of content. I only have like two, two content. One video and one picture. I'll be back, Sha. I'll be back. You guys just pray for grace and pray for money for me. And make sure you watch my videos so I can make money too. Anyways, you guys, so far, so good. Lagos is such a beautiful place, but it's so far. Yesterday, I was in traffic twice. I was going from one location to another and I was paying 9,000 to this place. 9,000 back. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, the place you're going to serve is not even the issue. It is the transport to get there if you're not driving. Like me, if I want to live in Lagos, I must have a car. I must have a car because I cannot be entering all this public transport up and down. Even though it's boats, even though it's boats, even though it's this. No, no, no. It's not for me. I beg, I beg. Make I go my Kalawadi, do my rich girl there with the small money I have. Because um, people that are here, they have money. Money, money. It's not, it's not the money that we have over there. Do you understand? Something else I wanted to gist you guys. I can't even remember. What else has happened? You guys, the men in Lagos have balls. They are ballsy. Like, you can literally be talking to a guy and they will see that guy there. Immediately, the guy stands up, they'll go and sit down. Next. Next. But you guys don't believe it's because I'm so pretty and so attractive. <laughs> you guys know I'm playing a big. The way I have to keep explaining that I'm joking when I know you guys get my humor. But, like, the fact that they are so ballsy, those men are ballsy. Do you know why? Because the girls, too, they, they give them that strength. Now, you understand? But, like, I don't, I don't, I don't have any problem. I support to men's rights and wrongs. Yeah, exactly. So, anyways, it's just a crazy place. Lagos is a very crazy place. Lagos is a crazy place. A crazy place, guys. But I think I love Lagos. Let me not lie. <laughs> I think I would love to be here. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to like this place, so. You guys, I might change my mind. I want to live in Lagos. But that's when I have... I have money plans, business idea, what I want to do. I cannot just come here just like that. Let me just be staying in my calabar. Um, after school, let's see how we we'll go. Am I even serving Lagos? Who knows? You guys, Lagos will fit me, don't you think? Lagos will fit me. I think so. I think so. Anyways, what is my itinerary for today? Oh, I'm going on a date today. I hope I'm going on a date today. If not, me and my date will, cr will fight. I'm meant to go on a date today. It's not every time solo, 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 solo. All the dates I've gone to since I came to Lagos for the six days have all been solo dates. That's crazy. Thanks for carrying guys along with me as usual. And yeah, bye bye for now. Not so funny story. The date didn't happen. Make sure to sleep with your eyes open, young man. He's taking her to shop skincare before her flight. Should she forgive him?
Thank you. I went to the airport looking like bullshit, like, cause what is this tear? I'm sure they were looking at me like, what kind of village girl is this? But you guys, I finally arrived, Kalapa. Anyway, let me do what I came here to do. I came to show you guys the things I got from Beauty Hut. You guys, this is like me and my inner child giggling. I'm so happy, cause you guys know I love skincare, I love makeup. These are the things I like. So like, this means so much to me i want to end today's vlog here because today is 31st of august and i started the vlog like i recorded the whole august like you guys should be proud of me i want to end today's vlog here but maybe just like after everything today is my mommy's birthday and we're just here together fever is coming i thought that she come and eat with me and then what else yeah i want to show you guys my haul of what i got I think that will be the end of the video after that then I'm going to start a new video for September I have three different things I want to do in September Number one, I want to go back to the gym Number two, I want to get back in my Zoom, my content Zoom Like my full on content Zoom I need to do a content day as soon as possible Even though it's Friday, I should do a content day And then you guys, finally my skincare I've not been doing skincare for months I've been procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating and finally I got my product I need to be glowing again because look at my skin bro Look at my skin So let's get right into the haul before we do any other thing First thing I'm going to start with is what I've been anticipating This is the Anwa Niacinamide 10% 10% They said that this stuff will clear the hell out of my dark spots like like it will work wonders so i want to see the wonders it will do this is it i'm sure everybody has seen it on tiktok and instagram right now it is really it's everywhere and i can't wait to start using it that was like the very first thing i went to check immediately i entered inside the beauty store then the next thing i got was the kosar x all-in-one face cream you guys this is my holy grail even though i don't have any product this is what i'll use this is what I use the texture, like everything about my my face loves it. So I've used this one countless times. I think I still have remaining very tiny in my skincare stash. This is it. I literally bought just my routine. I didn't buy anything extra. I just bought my routine, which is face wash. This was the face wash I got, CeraVe. I wanted to get Panoxyl because I wanted to get or oh, salicylic acid. But I said my acne is not that bad. If I wash my face very well with this and I don't touch my face and I use my products, I'll be good. So these are we spending money to buy expensive face wash and another thing. Let me just buy this one. So I got the big size of this so it should not finish too fast of CeraVe. This is my first step of my routine face wash then second step will be the toner which is the annual i've already showed you guys then third step will be the cosrx all-in-one cream and last step is sunscreen i have never used this particular skin aqua but i've used the other one that is like a tube i'm not an animal i've used the other one that is like a tube so I'm excited to try this one out. The container looks bigger. Okay, there's something new. Let me remove this. This is it. It's 50% protection. 50% FO. 50 plus SPF. So I'm going to get the full protection I need. So that's my fourth step, which is face wash, face wash, toner moisturizer sunscreen i don't want to do too much on my face no extra blah 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 my toner is going to be my treatment because it has 10 percent niacinamide it's definitely going to be treating a whole lot on my face i'm not going to be doing too much then the last but not the least i just needed a very cute and nice lip balm lip gloss and this is the topicals 
because I have seen good things about it online and it smells so good. I've already used it. I used a little on my lips when I opened the bag because I was excited about it. This is what it looks like. It smells so good, like it's minty, like gum. So excited anyways and that will be all for my vlog as the bag says zero post purchase clarity that means no regrets no regrets over here i love everything i got and i'm excited about them and yeah see you guys whenever i see you